Many of us watch a Formula One on TV and comment, how hard can it be to drive a car around a track for a living? But how hard is it really? I'm at Brands Hatch to find out just how much skill it takes to drive a single-seater Formula car around a racetrack. I'm going to go out in a BMW M4 and have expert tuition before moving on to a single-seater Formula 4 car and going out alone. Before I start, I must point out that like many people doing a driving experience, I myself have very limited track experience. The first car I'll be driving in my F4 experience today at Brands Hatch is the BMW M4 Coupe. Its 3-litre twin-turbo straight-six develops a whopping 426 brake horsepower. But the real challenge today will be the Formula 4 single-seater. Its Duratec 2-litre engine develops 185 brake horsepower, so less from the BMW, but in a car that's significantly lighter and more aerodynamic. The F4 also lacks a BMW driver aid such as traction control, so it's going to take a very different skill level to handle it. My ultimate goal is to achieve the fastest lap time possible, but to find out a good lap time to aim for, I'm going to speak to Chief Driving Instructor today, Pete Alexander. For those of us that have never been out on a track before, ever, what, what are the kind of things to be aware of or expect going out and doing an experience like this? A lot of first-time drivers would think they need to go on circuit and try and drive as fast as possible. Right. But the key is small steps, just try and gradually build your pace. Don't try and set the new lap record first lap on the circuit. <laughs> think about the technique, the line, the positioning of the car, and then gradually build the speed. The speed will come on top of that almost automatically. The thing that's quite interesting is there's a lot of us who sit at home and we watch a Formula One and go, oh, how hard is it to drive a car around straight? Like when we watch football and we go, I could have done that. Exactly. But what's the reality? Is it? it you're right. It looks <laughs> so easy stood here yeah. watching. It, you know, it's just sitting in the car yeah. pressing the pedals, isn't yeah. it? But of course, once you're out there, there's so much to think about, not just the line, the technique, but looking out for the marshals, the signals, the flags, the lights, checking the instruments on the car. For someone like me that's never been out on a track or brands hatch, what would be a respectable fastest lap time, do you think, in a single seater? Well, if you're getting anywhere near 64 seconds, 64 to 62 seconds in the dry, you're doing very well. With a lap time to aim for in the F4, it's time to learn the basics of track driving in a safety briefing. Welcome to Brands Hatch. My name is Rennie Burnside. I'm one of the senior instructors here. And my job today is to tell you what you let yourselves in for. Also talk about a few bits of technique and uh, run you through the format of your experience. Um, those of you who haven't been here before, this is what it looks like. Briefing over, I head to the pits and meet Stuart, the driving instructor taking me out in the M4. Try to keep your hands and quarter two on the steering wheel all the time, fix steering just like a racing driver. Yep. And try to think of a piece of string tied from your throttle foot to your steering wheel. Yep. All the time you're turning the wheel, it's bringing your foot up with power. As you get the wheel straight, you've got more string to put your foot onto the gas. We're going to gently roll away. Okay. Keep your speed nice and low in the uh, pit lane. As we come out, we're going to stay to the right hand side of the circuit. Aim for your apex on the left, there's straight wheels now all the way to the blue cone. Stay to the left hand side, brake now, change down one gear. Look through the corner, pick up your apex. Good. Keep braking, keep braking, strong brakes, strong brakes, strong brakes, down one gear. Middle, gently on the right, that's good. We'll let the car run to the left hand side, unwinding the steering. Beautiful, stay left. So because we're braking on the circuit, you just need to brake a little bit stronger to begin with. Okay. And then you start to bleed off as you're turning into the corner. Stay left. It's good, coming off the gas, start to brake, slowing the car down. That's the check the flag, slow down more. So how was that for a first go? That was right, that was good. <laughs> All right? Was very good, yeah, it was very good. Yeah, very good. So when you go into the single seat, just remember your, your braking points, your gear change points. Um, nice and smooth, keep it nice and smooth, just like you're doing there. Keep those hands at quarter two on the steering wheel as well. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you'll find the single seat, you've only got to think about turning and it will turn in. Actually, well done. Thank you very much. You're Remember, welcome. I love that, it's great. The M4 was a lot harder than I thought it would be. There's so much to think about of racing lines and uh, braking, acceleration, all at the right points. It's very easy to get a bit flustered. On the whole though, I think I did all right. I really, really enjoyed that. Stuart's uh, tuition was excellent, but I can't lie. I'm feeling a bit apprehensive about that single seater now. Going out on my own without that kind of 
guide on your shoulder telling you what to do, but that's going to be interesting. I have a second safety briefing before moving on to my ultimate challenge, the single-seater F4. Unlike the BMW, I'm going to have no instructor to guide me in the F4. I'm really going to have to pay attention, not just to my driving, but to the other drivers around me too. Okay, so, uh, push you into the pit lane, yeah. then we'll select first gear, and very, very slowly on the clutch, just going to pull away from lots of gas. different to a road car. It feels so raw. The wind is just insane. It takes an immense amount of concentration to remember everything I learned in the BMW but after a few laps, I begin to feel more comfortable and really open her up. I am flat out, that's the limiter, 105 miles an hour. The steering is so sensitive, I hardly have to touch it and it turns. Every moment in the F4 is just incredible. It really is a child's dream to be sat in a single seat of Formula car racing around a track. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, I really don't know what to say about that. I stopped I'm speechless. Um, it's really hard to put that into words what it's like to actually drive. Um, it, it, was, it was really hard work. I had to really concentrate on what I was doing and remember everything the instructor had said, but at the same time it was extremely good fun. Um, to see those two front wheels as you're going through the apexes and stuff is just a sensation you don't get in any normal road car, so that's a first. It was unreal. So I mean, I certainly feel like that as a fast lap, but whether or not I was, I don't know. Let's go and see if I've hit that kind of 64 second mark that Pete suggested is a good time. I'm going to go to my debrief and find out my fastest lap. Okay, that's it. I've had my debrief. I'm now back. I've got my fastest lap times as well for the single seater F4. Before I look at that, what I will say is it is harder than it looks, no question of a doubt. We watch it on TV and think, yeah, it's easy, but it's really not. So many different things go into it. You're thinking about line, position, braking, acceleration. There's so much to think about, especially when you're out there in a single seater on your own without that tuition of, you know, a, um, a driving expert coaching you through every corner. It's, it is much, much harder on your own. It's very, very different. So let's have a look at my fastest lap, shall we? 67.66 seconds. Not quite as fast as I'd have hoped for. I wanted to really hit that 64 mark as he, you know, as, as Pete suggested would be a good time. But I think 67 seconds for a first time is pretty good. I'm happy with that. I may be, you know, Lewis Hamilton, but I've certainly felt like him today. It's been the most incredible experience driving a Formula car. I can't tell you how much respect I now have for Formula One drivers, whose cars are another league above what I've driven today. If you're into your cars you're driving, I seriously suggest you try the Brands Hatch F4 experience. I think it's incredible that you can drive a Formula car around a track for just a couple of hundred pounds. It's the most fun I've ever had behind the wheel of a car.